let's play this video. Apparently, uh, the these are, are um, interviews that were assembled by uh, Heidi Heitkamp uh, in support of a bill called the Bush Lewis Act of 2017. There's a House version of this. It's called the Rehabilitation of Multi Employer um, uh, Multi uh, Employer Pensions Act. This was introduced by Sherrod Brown in the in the Senate. Uh, what they would do is set up a new office in under the auspices of the Treasury Department called the Pension Rehabilitation Administration. It would receive proceeds from the issuance of Treasury bonds. So they basically borrow money, uh, and then they would relend this money to financially troubled pensions that meet, you know, I guess very specific criteria um the the loans would be used to pay to fully pay the benefits of retirees and the bill will require plans which have already been approved to uh cut benefits to apply for these new loans and then uh if they're approved they would restore these benefits this is different from the pension guarantee trust which is supposed to step in under arisa to um, fund pensions for places that go uh, bankrupt. So this is basically, you've got all of these folks who've been working for 20, 30 years, mostly blue collar, but not necessarily. Folks who've been working all this time, they have been deferring pay raises, they have been deferring higher pay, right? Understand what a pension contribution is. It doesn't come out of nowhere. It's not, it's not an added benefit. I mean, we call it a fringe benefit, which I think is wrong, frankly. I think that, that, that disadvantages uh, folks. It is simply saying, instead of paying you $10 today, I'm going to pay you $8 today. And I'm going to put a buck into a fund that would presumably pay you out money for your retirement. So I save a buck and you theoretically make two bucks on that investment that is put away. Maybe you can match it too, if you want, but it is deferred payment period. End of story. Some companies underfund these pensions because instead of saying, I'm going to put a buck in, uh, they say, I'm going to make sure that you have this much by this year. And we only need to put in 75 cents to do that. Because our projections are the stock market's going to do a lot better than it's going to do. A but, lot of companies have also replaced them with uh, 401ks now. That's right. That's all the rage. But in this specific instance, it's basically like, oh, you put your money into the pension. We put money into the pension for you, but it didn't work out. Sorry about that deferred compensation. Guess what? Instead of getting a two uh, percent return, we're just going to promise you a one percent return. Guess what? Instead of a one percent return, we're actually going to tell you that there's going to be a little bit of a negative uh, return on this. And here is um, video of some people basically calling for uh, the passing of the Butch Lewis Act, which has uh, broad support by Democrats in both houses. Um, and uh, it's. I don't know. It's pretty uh, uh, moving. Hello, my name is Pete Susie. I'm a teamster for 30, 36 years. Uh, this pension means a lot. It means our life. How we're going to finish our golden years. We don't know what we're going to do. I'm sorry. My name is Doug Rumsey. I'm from Local 707. Um, we've had drastic cuts for the past three years. Um, we really need the Butch Lewis Act passed immediately. We have members that are losing their homes. My name is Don Vargo. I'm a 30-year Teamster. I did everything I was supposed to do. I went to work on time. 
I did what I was supposed to do. I ended up taking my accrual rate, went from 2% to 1%, and now they still want me to take a cut in my pension. When's enough enough? I can't afford to do that. I want to have a life with my wife and my grandchildren. Uh, pers uh, and pretty disturbing stuff. You know, you get to that age and then you, you, you had done everything you thought you were going to do so you could, you know, um, retire some measure of dignity and then um, you get the, the rug pulled out from underneath you. Uh, yeah, the social contract is breaking down every which way. Yes, I would almost put that in the past tense. It, yeah, absolutely.